Everybody knows Western Union. That name's so common. I and know them. You do, yes. And you're even you're not even from the West. You're I from, am from the West. I'm uh, a white person. Uh, all right. Well, well, Western Union. They're not just uh, a way to send money to Mexico anymore, like Ernie knows about. Go to our website, and you can do all kinds of stuff. You can send money to family and friends in 135. On our countries. website. On our website, if you go through Western Union, you can send money. Like Ernie, you can get the rest of your family probably through the tunnels. All you got to do is send the money through Western Union, 135 different countries. If you, you probably have people in Honduras, El Salvador, places like that. Put money on prepaid cards. You can do that. Jason, you can put money on prepaid cards so you can live. You do that. You can pay bills online. Oh, you don't have bills. Yeah. Well, and you can also pay domestic or foreign mortgages, auto, credit cards, insurance, utility, government, and other types of bill payments. Go to Western Union. Uh, send funds any time of day or night to almost anywhere in the world. 135 currencies. All you got to do is go to JiminettiTalkShit.com. They also have tons of new business solutions. Go there. Click on the banner on our website, JiminettiTalkShit.com, and get signed up. That's Western Union. Western Union. They put the fun in funds. All right, before we start this episode, uh, which is a continuation from the last episode with Rory Scovel, we've done 155 episodes, everybody, and I know I know what you're saying. Only 100 of them are available on iTunes. If you want the other 55 episodes, yes, you're going to have to buy them, people. We've archived them. They're on our website. You just go into our website, go into the store, and buy them. They're like 99 cents each. We have to pay for bandwidth. So whenever you download it, we pay for it. So don't think, oh, these cunts are making money. Yes, we're making a little bit of money. Costs money to keep the show going. Go to uh, JiminettiTalkShit.com and you buy a package. When you buy things, you get things. You get t-shirts, DVDs, uh, posters, uh, all kinds of stuff. We got stickers now. And, uh, and you support the show and you get a lot of good product. You are probably the best fans of any podcast. Uh, whenever guests go on our show and afterwards you respond to them and talk with them and add them on Twitter and go see their shows, they always mention to me how good you are. Uh, well, if you really want to help us, go to our Facebook page and add us. Add us on Facebook. We have a Talking Shit Facebook page. And that's where all the fans write everything and go off. Uh, it, the numbers haven't been going up on it. I don't know why. We know by the numbers of people that listen to the show that we've got a lot more, like m tons more. But I don't know why you don't go to our face. Just like us. That's all you got to do. Like us. So please go to our Facebook, like us. And if you want also, go listen or watch our YouTube videos. There's some really funny videos that we post and then stuff that we like of fans of ours that have made some funny shit. Uh, so please do that. Go to Jim and Eddie whatever you know you'll find it all it's all on our website jim and .com. go see jim he's at the edinburgh uh comedy festival uh over in scotland and i'm in australia august 14th to like 27th and all my dates are available at alist.com dot au september 7th 8th i'll be at the ice house in pasadena these shows do sell out they had to add shows last time so get your tickets now to the ice house and uh I think we're ready to start. Is there anything else we have to mention? Ernie, Machete, that mustache is growing well. Uh, we're, we're just going to start the show. Two douchebags on a couch. One's a nestle, one's a grouch. And relentless, oh! Being aborted, the yeah. unused abortions. Mm -hmm. The failed abortions, yeah, that's a good name. That's more punk, though. You don't mean that. Oh, I do. <laughs> what do you mean I don't mean that? That I should have been aborted. What? Okay, when you enter this world and when you leave, the only thing you can do is hopefully the world's a slightly better place than, than when you were here. I help out a lot of people, you know. No, you don't. Yes, I do. No, you don't. Yeah. How is the world a better place from your existence? I network the community to itself, and I help people You bring around. them down. You let them think that this is a way of living. What's a way of living? Just bumming around on a bit of concrete covered in garbage, talking about your fucking dogs all day. These people aren't helping. That's You're not You're helping what I other do. people who should have been fucking genocided off the planet. <laughs> Jeez, Jim. <laughs> you know I helped you with your pinball machine. Should you have been genocided off the planet too? I'm well. I, I do appreciate you helping me with the pinball machine, but I don't think More that's helped once. the planet out that much. You provide comedy. 
which is really, oh, I'm very helpful. Which is, <laughs> but what I'm if, an excellent tax buyer. What if you hurt your back and it ruined your comedy career? How would that hurt my comedy career? When you have back pain, it can fuck up everything, dude. So, and what would? Why are you wishing bad upon me? No, I'm just saying, if like, say you had hurt your back moving the pinball machine. Right. It could have affected your whole career. Oh, so you're saying things. through helping me with the pinball machine, my back hasn't got hurt, therefore the world laughs a little bit more, therefore you did that. You don't know that. <laughs> <laughs> name, me, name me 10 reasons why the planet's better with Jason Hour in it. Um, I spread love. That's not a reason. No reason. Tins a lot. That's a lot. He <laughs> I mean, does, tins yeah. a lot for anybody. Why so many, Jim? <laughs> Jesus, fuck. You're harsh. Five. Go to five. Three to five is a fair. Five. No, he'll only go three then. You can't give <laughs> him believe it. Five reasons why the world's a better place with you in it. Yeah. If, you, if I'm able to do it for you. I want to hear that. I yeah. Will. Well, we have to agree with all five of them. If I'm able to do it, I will. Okay. Okay. Go ahead. That's it. I mean, like, that's one. Oh, that's one. If you're able to do it, you will. As far um, as, like, helping okay, someone okay, out. Pay hey, taxes. Be in a porn film. No. That's, Come. That's not reasonable. No, 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 that's no, no. That's not no. helping No, anyone. good, good. If you're able to do it, do it. Be actively employed where you pay taxes so that you contribute to society. Do it. Can you do that? Yeah, actually, I've made the roads for that. Yeah, but you haven't done that. No, I... I, I so you, you, you actively can do that, but you decide not to do it, and you decide to be in a bank with the broken have, dollars. Have consensual sex with a little elite. No. <laughs> All right, so that, that one doesn't count. You're still at zero. Name me five things. <laughs> it does get some genuine honesty to the band's title, though, that you haven't paid those taxes. <laughs> <laughs> taxes on what? Just at life. <laughs> Jason, I've got Being a question Being called the you. broken dollars. i got a question for you. You know that free credit check band? You know the free credit Hello. check band? <laughs> Arlo, get the fuck in here. No, I don't know that free credit check. Free credit check dot com. For, tell you thing, tell you thing, you know, mama, you'll be wearing a pirate shirt. They Bond. don't have that on Hulu. Oh, jeez, I want to stab you right now with a bottle. Yeah, I'm glad that me and Eddie, I'm glad that me and Eddie are doing this show in shifts right now because I can't handle it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now listen. There's a band, there's a terrible hokey band that does a free credit check commercial. Would you, for enough money, do those commercials with your band? Would you? Shh, my band? I'm not in charge. But would you if it was up to you? Sure. You would sell out already. <laughs> Why not? Uh, There's you, no such thing as selling out. There's no, also no integrity in your fucking body. You would sell out like that. That's like, not that's selling out. That's thing. selling out. That's like, doing an, that's like doing an Adam and Eve commercial. I started a charity that fed the homeless that lasted for three years. It lasted once, and then the police showed up, and it got shut down. No, it never got shut down by the cops. I have photos of the police shutting it down. No, that was a street festival that I did impromptu that got shut down. That wasn't Feed the Beach. <laughs> well, I mean, that alone is fun to hear. I throw good parties. That's one thing, Jim. Oh, That's a good thing. We've been to your parties. The waiting to die crowd is there. No, that's not... That, that's. No, that's not. I my have party. never been to a party of yours that has been even. You've decent. never been to a party of mine because I only started hanging out with you after I started being all fucked up. <laughs> no, I used to have fucking ragers, man. Jim's to been to your poker game. That was awful. I've been to your house when you live with the waiting to die crowd. Awful. Yeah, that was bad. Those are bad times. Then you have you have uh, what do you do the fondue parties? They look horrible. Oh no, those are fun. They look horrible. No, fondue's good. It looks terrible. No, it's good. If it was good, Wait, what do you mean it looks terrible? Fondue. What does it look like? It Like every aspect of it, including the fondue. Mm -hmm. No, the fondue is delicious. It's done by a Frenchman. They know fondue. Nothing you're saying is making sense. But you know, know, name, me, you name one. You're throwing parties. I throw good parties. You throw a good party. There's one. I play music. You had fondue at a street festival? Are we moving? I've on? brought people <laughs> happiness through music. Well, who? All 30 people that downloaded the Talking Shit No, they were song? charitable donations to you. I bought it three times. <laughs> <laughs> Milan, I did. Milan's in town. Milan, Milan. He didn't hit me up. No, I don't think you guys are friends anymore. What are you talking about? He's been listening to the show, and he said you let us all down. I think you're making that up. No, I would never make that up. Rory says you're letting him down, too. He said he... He came here. He said to me, I've listened to the show. I thought Jason was funny. I came here because I thought he was funny. Jason, look in my eyes. All right. And you decide if that's true. <laughs> I think Rory's... I'll play a game with you, Jason. Rory's high, too. 
I'm usually... You name a good thing you've done in the world, <laughs> and I'll name a bad thing you've done in the world, and the first person to stop is the loser. Yep. Let's hear this. Or we could bad weigh, thing we could weigh the two. Yeah. What or, do you mean? Well, it's like, it's like chicken. You're getting closer and closer. Okay, but so you name a good thing, I'll, I'll name a bad or, thing. No, it's like a scale. He's loading the shit on okay. the scale. Which side is going to tip? Yeah, All which right. side is going to tip. You can start. You can put this in. When I was in kindergarten, um, the ladder fell off the tree fort. Mm-hmm. And I was with a bunch of people. No one was able. I just jumped off, and like it was two story. It hurt like a motherfucker to get the ladder up for the rest of the group. Okay. Right. 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 <laughs> okay. I'm we'll gonna. Give I'm gonna I'm, give them that. I'm gonna go I with mean, not dying when you jumped off the ladder. <laughs> 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 All right. Go on. Okay, J- <laughs> Jason. Number two. Um. Well, I mean, I, I did. Found a charity that that fed over a thousand people three okay. years in a row on Thanksgiving Day. Okay. Uh, okay, I'm gonna go. A homeless person tagged Eddie's car that you probably fed and kept alive. <laughs> <laughs> okay, <laughs> the scale's still going. <laughs> All right, Jason. Um, at that event, I actually organized a lot of the local gang members. <laughs> that they actually provided. They they served the food and and we did a fundraiser afterward for a. Uh, an organization that did uh, mentoring t- so for kids that are at risk for okay. being. Wait, wait, I'm going to go for boring your wife. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Even in charity events, you break off into other splinter charity events. <laughs> yeah. yeah. God, do you because because with everything you're involved in? <laughs> that's, how, that's how half of his bands have started. <laughs> Sub charity charity. He's tried to break off from our podcast and start his own yeah, podcast. Yeah. He, he didn't know about his last band, The Poverty Line. Yeah. All right. So so you're even. Uh, I would say that scale's tipping way more in Jim's favor because the wife thing really yeah, fucking yeah, yeah. got it. All yeah, right. Yeah. Go on. I uh, I took as many people as I could. Leading a tranny on for no reason. Boom, the scale's yeah, going. Okay. Well, I didn't t- lead that person on. It was the other way around. Okay. okay. But that's not, the scale might be tipping. I didn't like how you said it was that person as well, has feelings. That thing has feelings. Yeah, that's even, now he's just put another one on. I collected your mail for months. Okay. <laughs> that, uh, yeah. I got a lot of bills. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes I let you win at boxing just to make you feel better. Never done that. Hurt his confidence. <laughs> Boom. Yeah, yeah. Going. <laughs> Treat, treated me like a child. <laughs> Go. Keep going. I feel like that one got a little real. You're like, you've never done that. <laughs> it you've did. never done that. You've never. I've seen him when I beat him. He gets upset. It when I tell you I love you, I mean it. When I tell you, I just I just blew oh, up the scale. Oh, I got no, no. I've got I've got one making me uncomfortable. <laughs> <laughs> I joined a really cool funk band that's going to do a great job and provide lots. Oh, of Oh, you're talking in the friends. future. Yeah, stealing, no, I didn't. stealing other people's names, ideas. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, is is the other one stolen? Is the original name stolen? What? What? Jay and the party is that stolen? No, I've heard the term party plenty of times. Did Jay it? and the party. Oh no, I'll take that back. Yeah. <laughs> so you're going to go with the broken dollars now? I don't know. No, you got to. I, I'm, I got to talk to the band. You got to talk to them. You are the See, band. See, he's not a dictator. He's a good leader. <laughs> well, if his like were like that in the thirties, they'd be a lot better off. <laughs> uh, here's a name. One of our fans called it Sofa King. Oh yeah, James Backhouse. Uh, Couch if, surfers. <laughs> somebody just wrote. Uh, Walter McDonald wrote. If Jason's the bass player, I think Jesse has bigger problems. <laughs> Jesse, it's and not the- not as catchy that name. <laughs> Solstice. Uh, so yeah. uh, How about this one? The Beatles. B E E T. Um, Jason. What? I like Solstice. That's not really a funk funk name though. That's more indie. Oh, was, yeah, or Burning Man dubstep. That, you can take that for your Solstice. dubstep. How about the funky junkie? Boom. That's a Peter Andre. How about middle-aged white guys that should uh, all be married? Yeah, yeah. How about you? How about too old to start? (laughs) (laughs) WT Funk. (laughs) The Uh, late comers. (laughs) (laughs) Mark Man will sue them. (laughs) I should have started ten years ago. (laughs) (laughs) Whose idea was this? Was this your idea? Yeah. 
Dads with hobbies. <laughs> <laughs> I, I heard you have meetings and, and like you guys, you're like, what's this band about? And everyone's like, getting pussy. <laughs> Is that what it's about? Pretty much. But you're, you work as the warm up guy at Chelsea lately. You should get all the pussy in the world. It's all chicks there. Yeah, I know. It's good. I and you have that. worked that. We've seen it yeah. here. No, I've done I've done well by myself. Uh, well, can I tell you? Can I? Why are you, you helping a, Jason? He's helping not just Jason. He's helping a lot of people. Yeah. Can I interest you in a long term relationship? I'll tell you what. <laughs> all these other people, they're gonna tell you hooking up with different women. But yeah, when you really settle, I down. think that's <laughs> I think that's too long. I think a lot that's of fun. <laughs> Good sell, Rory. Good I think sell. that's too long out. for a band name. To be honest with you, <laughs> <laughs> can I interest you in a long term relationship? A lot of people will talk you out of. It. <laughs> do you and Nick Thune hang out together and talk about your relationships? We do. <laughs> that's all. We just tea, just a nice hot tea and some biscotti. Oh. <laughs> How do I that's you know that's not, I was I'm, about to say I'm, that's I'm making, a weekend but that's I'm every making day. fun of you but I'm you're trying to you're try, you're at that age where you're trying to get the pussy that you can just get regardless you don't even have to be nice to it yeah I mean it's just yeah you don't have to win it over with a being a band you just have to go well you're I'll you're at that age you where day. it will actually make you get less pussy. When you say that you're in your mid thirties and you've started a band, that's like really unimpressive to a woman. We'll find out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what are you guys called? Uh, we're Jay and the we're Jay and the party. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you know, like like how many girls are going to be going going? Oh, did you just never get a break? No, we just started. <laughs> <laughs> oh, did you used to be in another band? <laughs> no, that's a good name. Just Not just, just one started. Day. <laughs> I, I think I think that our band's gonna gonna bring it, so I'm not too too concerned about it. Are you, are you looking it. forward to X Factor? Have, have you checked Have you checked with the younger kids to see if "bring it" is still a term? Uh, oh, <laughs> <laughs> I haven't, I haven't. That is about four years ago. <laughs> At one point, you go, and on the bass, we have a really old guy. <laughs> Are you going to wear tuxedos so you can do bar mitzvahs? Uh, no. <laughs> if it paid enough money, fucking Eminem's done a bar mitzvah. Has he really? has, yeah. She so, and you're um, mad at me about doing commercials. Oh. I asked Jason if he'd sell out your band and do commercials like uh, like the Free Credit Now or whatever right. guy's band. Jason goes, fuck yeah. He would sell your band out right now. The KFCs, you'll be called. <laughs> The Craig's Craig Listers. <laughs> Dude, That's how you guys all found each other. Just yeah, response the, at res- <laughs> Craigslist response. <laughs> now it's just so specific. <laughs> the one thousand YouTube hits. <laughs> well, if if you name our band, Jim, I think we can do better than that. Give yourself dollars. more credit. Give yourself dollars. More credit. He's, he's really stuck on broken dollars. I'm telling you, that's the name. I like broken it. dollars wins, in my opinion. That's I like it. I like it. You I should like it. tell Ben and those guys now. I don't think he's ever. I don't and then, think, and then you can stop paint. Digging. You can paint on the drum like a broken dollar. Like oh yeah, poop. The casino that. chip that's broken in half. Yeah, that because they'll know what that is. Yeah. No, but I mean the casino chip. Everybody knows what that is. Yeah. And how about how about the pink pound? That's uh, that's what they call gay currency in Britain. Oh. <laughs> then definitely for sure we should. Yeah. <laughs> that's that's the same point. <laughs> why don't you why don't you Jewy it up a little bit? Call yourself the Yentles or whatever those Jew words are. The, the Yentas. The Yentas, yeah. That's that, been done with the the Matsu or whatever his name is, that rapper. Um, why don't you guys is there a band called Midlife Crisis? Uh, uh, probably no, not. No, but you should be the leader of that band, Eddie. <laughs> MLC. How about Jesse and the Bald Patch? <laughs> 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 oh, um, Conan O'Brien was actually down there the other day at the uh, the square or the what do you call that? The Brian, patch. why are you telling me this? Why was he there? Uh, he was eating at Piccolo. Oh, well, that's a good restaurant. Yeah, that's, that's not restaurant. part of the patch. Or no, the, the bald, spot. bald spot. Yeah, it it's is. It's not part of the bald spot. It's next to the fucking... It's in the bald spot. It doesn't matter. It's a nice restaurant. It's not part of those shitty other places. It's sandwiched between them. Rory knows Conan O'Brien. We're friends, <laughs> Jason. You think you could just throw out this kind of information? Rory was right. Look at his fucking profile I just picture saw on Twitter. Him. I just you. saw him two days ago, is what I'm saying. Doesn't two, matter. I was he, probably with he him. He talked to him. No, it was a woman that was with him. Uh, well, I was near. I was nearby. <laughs> he <laughs> dropped them off. And was circling, looking Dropped for parking. <laughs> he actually walked I'm that close the of a friend that I'm a driver. He was looking for parking. But Don't it, lie. Know, it was two weeks what ago. Day? What day? It was two weeks ago. It was right before I moved out of two that. Two weeks ago. He wasn't there. He was with Rory. 
No, he was with a woman. But he was with Rory and the At woman. Piccolo. No, you thought it was some other no, redhead. No, I... Psst, it's Conan O'Brien, dude. Oh, Unmistakable. It's good food, though. I haven't eaten there yet. Piccolo's great. I've My friend just turns into a Piccolo Became the manager. <laughs> you turns into a Piccolo commercial Have you been there, right Rory? Have you been there? I've never been. I don't You're know not that close to him. <laughs> <laughs> if I'm not that close to Conan, if I haven't been. Busted. Yeah. <laughs> Jason, who worked <laughs> I have to have eaten in the same restaurants. <laughs> who who are you friends with there? Uh Pietro. Okay, can Pietro hook me up? I'll ask him. I want He's the manager. There. I want hooked up there. What, what does I, that mean? What kind of hook up I, like your lettuce hook up? Hey, I already got you into the fucking other place for your last year. What you do got you want? me avocados once and they no, were No, I got you into the God Jackson made that call for you and that was Jackson all Jackson did it. You didn't do it. Uh you didn't even know him at the time. I hooked you up with now Jackson I'm better who hooked friends you up. with Jackson than you were. He'd still kill you for me. No, he wouldn't. <laughs> In a second. No, he wouldn't. I have Yoshi. Are we talking about the Japanese dessert? By the way, while the show's going on, Lilith is in the kitchen. For the last half hour. Hitting on Yoshi. I think she finally found someone that'll kill her. <laughs> 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 Put her out of her misery. Um, she, uh, <laughs> she's in there seeing what kind of work she can get in the porn you know, business. You know, what, you know what they're talking about? How they have the same physique. <laughs> <laughs> Let's, <laughs> let's, see if we, skin. let's see if we can get Lilith into porn. Yoshi. No, you can't get Lilith into porn. You don't porn. think? You don't think she'd do it? You can't get her into fucking bed, Lilith. She porn. said she'd do Playboy. She would not do Playboy. Lilith, like, you'd like, do Playboy, right? Playboy like attractive women. You said you'd do Playboy, right? Yeah. Has that changed? No. You still do it? Okay. Look at Yoshi. Um, Yoshi, can you get her into porn? <laughs> he just said, oh, it'd be very easy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, would you do porn? No. Lily. Softcore, softcore. No. You look a little bit like Octomom and she's done it. <laughs> no, I think I'll pass. I, really? already, I have enough daddy issues. I don't need any more. Mm. What is, why would that add to it? Actually doing porn would probably exacerbate a lot of symptoms. Oh, it would? <laughs> I'm sure. What if it was like Viv Thomas? Who? Whoa, I really pulled out a really obscure one there. Yoshi, do you even know who Viv Thomas is? No, that. Oh, he's the best director in porn. He does these like... <laughs> <laughs> he does... Is it really a... Yeah. Hold on, let me just open my credits? diary and tell Are you. Are there credits in porn? <laughs> no. Check out Viv Thomas. He uses the hottest chicks in the world. And they're, they're not like dirty chicks. They're like... They're like models, and it's like, where the fuck do you get these? How'd you agree? How'd you talk these girls into doing porn? It's usually chicks with tattoos with meth problems. How'd you get fucking supermodels to do porn? And they do like all kinds of like seductive porn. And whoever this fucking guy is, he's a genius. Viv Thomas. Yeah, yeah. but is it good porn? It's very like. I almost don't want them to be. That no, hard. you don't. I know what you want, Jim. You want them. What's the website? Uh, I don't know his website. I see it on like the the. It gets watermarked on a lot of his videos when huh. they're on like YouPorn or UJiz or Pornhub or PornTube or Eskimo Tube or <laughs> TubeAid or um, Skankwire. Come on, keep going. Or, yes. keep, come on. <laughs> I'm just going to start naming them. The Any of all of them work. Giantblackcocks.com. That's a place. Yeah. No, it's not on there. <laughs> I guarantee there is. It, of course yeah, it is. Yeah, there is a giant black. <laughs> I'll bet anything we say exists. Yes. Anything we can think of exists. Yes. Um Except for jasonmakesmoney.com. <laughs> How long have we done? <laughs> Jim, that's when Jim's done. We're at one hour? We're done. Anything exciting? Farside, are you getting internet? You, you fucking lie because I get it all the time here. I just had it and now it's gone. How do you lose it? I don't know. Get your own Wi-Fi. Oh. Whoa. Oh. 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 Farside. Oh. Cranky. Oh. Fight, fight, fight. Roy, do you, like know, do you know why we call him Farside? No. Look at him. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. He School looks like, he looks like a Farside character. Oh. <laughs> um, have you ever met Farside before? Yeah, 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 yeah. He's a big fan of yours. Yeah, well. He was like, you have to have Rory on the show. You have to. I agree. He's one of the funniest people alive. I agree with all this. <laughs> I like get your own Wi-Fi. Yeah, well, funny. Do you guys just use some other Wi-Fi? I yeah. was. My neighbor, who coincidentally, the name of their <laughs> Wi-Fi was Get Your Own Wi-Fi. <laughs> and then they took it away from me. Uh, and now I'm back on Amy. <laughs> <laughs> what happened It's always to just moving around a different uh, network. But it's such like a tight neighborhood that there's always one. Oh, yeah. Did you have a, Sam? 
I had Sam for a while. Sam, I even had the password. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I just overheard a neighbor say it. <laughs> <laughs> did you really? Did you? Uh, but how you feel? <laughs> who just who just says that? Because <laughs> I heard somebody say, "What's the Wi-Fi password?" And I was like, "What is it?" <laughs> As soon as I heard it, I was like, that's it. We're in. It was a phone number. Yeah, and then we, we lost that one. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm never getting it. I refuse to get internet here. It's just something I don't want. It's, it's, a, it, it's a belief I have. I don't feel like I should pay for internet just like Jason believes he shouldn't pay taxes. <laughs> I like how healthy you are, but you won't pay for Wi-Fi. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> should, Jason, should Wi-Fi be free? What was the name of that porn yeah. guy? Mandingo? Viv Thomas. Viv oh, Thomas. Viv Thomas. Just write to Mandingo. Are you looking it up right now? I'm going to have a look. Just here. look Viv Thomas director. Everybody's looking. <laughs> it's um it's not like hardcore. It's it's almost it's almost softcore porn. I mean it's very, very uh graphic, but it's not the chicks are hot. They're really hot. Where are the hottest porn chicks from, Yoshi? What country? <sighs> I like the American mostly. girls. Look, Where? Hungary, Budapest. Yeah, what is with that? Yeah. I've heard a friend of mine is, uh, was traveling Europe, and he goes, go to Hungary, the most beautiful women in the world. And then... Uh, the Czech Republic was the best looking girls I ever saw. But we see a lot Have of Have you been to Hungary? A lot of talent from Russia now. And Re- so, the competition is pretty ferocious in uh, Russia, so a lot of them do travel to uh, Budapest. Oh, why? They're filming in Budapest. Yeah. And it's like the valley of Europe. Oh, yeah. Of Eastern Europe. It used to be Prague, but it's <laughs> Budapest for sure. Uh, question, though. Um, mm-hmm. These girls, they don't get money, do they? Not very much, especially now. I mean, yeah. like nothing. With but the they, still, they still reckon that the women are fucking, there's thousands of them auditioning every fucking day. I don't work. get that. I don't understand that. Why? If they're not making money. Lilith, tell us. Girls, but, but, but it's, you it's, the, remember, it's you, the word star. You know, maybe you're a doctor and you're still making four or five hundred bucks a month. You do one scene, you get grand. You know what I mean? You do the math. And like you could do three, four, five, six scenes a week. Oh, really? They get a grand for a scene? I mean, it depends on how hot the girl and what she does. I mean, if it's boy girl and you do anal, you know, especially in San, San Fernando Valley, you probably get a thousand, fifteen hundred. Um, depends on the girl. <laughs> <laughs> she's very pretty <laughs> uh, <laughs> so, so Viv Thomas was a hit <laughs> um, So they get like a thousand dollars a scene Yeah I mean the prettier one but How uh, much for a gangbang? Depends on the girl what? You know, oftentimes when the girls start in the business, they just do boy girl. They eventually people get tired of them. They do ano. Then um, yeah, then you gotta do, like you get progressively like worse and worse shit you have to do to make money because after a while the new girls will always beat you. you Jim know? showed me a porno one time, and I don't. I'm not into like weird straight. Like even like I'm. I'm just you know basic. You know, I want to see a girl yeah. get a dump in her mouth, and. Uh, huh. And <laughs> no, I'm joking. I I like very you know tame shit. And Jim's like, uh, I don't remember doing this. Yeah, don't say no. Okay. Um, so Jim goes, yeah, you got to check this girl out. And uh, she was, um, they were choking her, mm-hmm. at, like not just uh, one guy, a whole diner. There was a diner scene. Yeah, it was and, great. Like there were like old ladies taking part and they were choking the girl. Then they spilled milk on the floor and they were cleaning the milk up with her face. Yeah. And Jim's like, <laughs> this girl's so hot. And I'm like, we need to help her. <laughs> like they're cleaning up the floor with her face. And then there was a point where the guy picks her up off the ground and lifts her off the ground by her neck. And I said, Jim, I watched that over and over trying to figure out how they did that scene where they pick her up by her neck off the ground. He goes, how do they do it? I go, they, they, they choke her and pick her up off the ground <laughs> by her neck. Like, like it was, I, 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 it changed me as a person. Like, I, I don't feel good that I saw that. And that's what he, he likes. 
I went out with her briefly. <laughs> <laughs> He's not joking. <laughs> you don't feel good because why? Well, that's how you make kids. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you want to be a dad? You're gonna have to choke some some milk cleaning faces. <laughs> yeah, right, I gotta I gotta get going. You guys can continue on without me for a little bit. I have to pick up Duke. Actually, I gotta go. What what what? No, my the, my sitter's leaving, and I gotta go pick him up right now. Do you have a sitter? Yeah. How do you have a sitter? I gave her a massage, and uh, she's I watching my dog. He Wait has, a minute. <laughs> he has fondue at street festivals. It's, if you can do that, you can he get just, a sitter. He just said he gave her a massage. So <laughs> she's watching the dog for me. And uh, no, I gave her an hour of massage. That's for worth, an hour of... No, it's a couple hours now since I've been here. So I got a boogie. Well, what's Duke going to do? He can't sit home alone? No, I lost his cone today because I was <laughs> exhausted. And, and like he'll chew his, his dog ass. permanently has to <laughs> wear... Uh, why? Why? Get out. <laughs> I he, like him. He wears a coat because he's high. Um, <laughs> yeah, I can tell. He, his, and he's Dutch. His dog has to wear a cone all the time Yeah, because uh, it eats its own ass. No, he, he got fleas over at that fucking house and they caused an allergic reaction. And that's where the hot spots We're came from. As I remember correctly, that dog has always had hot spots. Uh, seasonally, yes. Every uh, f- several months. He goes, why don't you just practice euthanasia? Oh, that's so mean. I'm attached. Yeah. Well, but the dog's, I love him. In, the dog's in misery. No, three months out of the year, he's happy. <laughs> that's not bad. <laughs> not that's like that. a better life than most people on the planet. If it was two, I'd say kill it. Yeah. Yeah. But three, three. let it go. Yeah. 25%. What's going to happen when Duke dies? Are you going to die? No, no. You'll, I'm ready. you'll make it through it? I've been through it. The last one got lymphoma. What was the last one? His name was Maximus. Does everything around you get a disease? <laughs> <laughs> it makes me not want to be around you. <laughs> that does kind of scare me. Bye, bye Jimmy. Uh, wait. Oh, okay. Bye, Jim. Bye, Jim. Yoshi, really Yoshi you want to talk about killing relatives? Again? <laughs> Part two. I got to roll. I'm, All right. I'm sorry. I got to take care of it. I'll take the trash out, though. All right, you take the trash out. Right. It's great meeting. Yeah, All right, you we're, too. Just, we're just going to end care. this episode. Um, uh, just Photoshop me in with you. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 Okay. <laughs> no, they're not going to Photoshop you in. Do you know about the yes. picture? I want to mention this. Uh, if you Google John Viner, do you know John Viner? No. John Viner's a friend of mine. He writes for Family Guy, or used to write for Family Guy and the Cleveland show. He was in Australia doing a tour, talking like a speaking tour, talking about the Family Guy. Mm hmm. And, uh, like, wherever he would go, they would have to put a picture up of him. And somehow, whoever organized the tour Googled a picture of him. And the only picture they found was of him and Jason together. So, like, on all these posters all over <laughs> Australia, like, come, come listen to John Viner, writer from The Family Guy Speak. His picture was John and Jason. And I'm like, <laughs> Fu- exactly. I'm like, why? <laughs> why? Why? Like, Jesse, I'm... That goes on the list of things I've done to make the world better. That doesn't make the world better. Yeah. He th- I bet you he got a laugh out of that. I bet you he got a laugh out of that. Do you, he didn't complain. Can you go, please? <laughs> Just go away forever. Oh, by the way, you're fired. Thanks. No, you are. But we'll see you next week. See you, Jason. Um. Jason left. Uh, we're going to get a bunch of emails going. The show was too much about Jason. Rory, can you talk about yourself a little bit? You haven't talked at all. I really like Jason. No, I he's think not. Jason's great. He, he wears on you, though. Like, you like, him, you like him at first, and then, like, give it, give it like, a week. <laughs> Enough and time. And how, when, did, when did J- Jason wear off on you? You like him again. Jesse likes him again. I don't get it. Farsight, yeah. sit down in your little Boy Scout outfit. What the fuck are you wearing? You look like a Scoutmaster or something. <laughs> Creepy, molesting scoutmaster. Um, Farside, uh, you are a big Rory fan. Yes. Okay, tell me why you're Rory's biggest fan. Just listen to him on the Todd Glass show, first off. Oh, mm. you've done the Todd he's Glass hilarious. show? Todd's, spo- it, Todd's supposed to be on our show, and he's never come through. No, it's not that he's never come through. Yeah, what if he legitimately canceled every time? He has. <laughs> he, no, he only canceled once. Not like Doug Benson. He still canceled. wants to do it, though. He, tells he does. He tell you that every time. All right. Well, tell Todd he can do it anytime. We, I'm a big Todd Glass fan. But you, do you do all the, like, Todd does little fun little games on his show, though, that, like, it's intimidating how funny Todd is. Rory it's a bunch of bits and stuff. Yes, yeah, we, we just talk. Bits. Yeah. 
I wish we were more creative, but we suck. <laughs> <laughs> we always talk about we're going to come up with stuff, and then we just make fun of Jason. Yeah. <laughs> Well, he's right there. You I, know. I feel like we're doing a moncast now without Jim here. He lets you. He lets you do it. He lets. He's. He's. He's right there in the open. He lets it happen. Todd's one of the funniest guys because Todd does all these little tricks that I like, and uh, I have a friend at home that does that stuff. Like when you're talking to him, he'll stare at your ear and just talk to you, but look at your ear, <laughs> and and you're like, what, what, what's? And he's like, nothing. And he just keeps staring, <laughs> and you lose your mind while he's doing it. Yeah. And then he does this other thing, like, talk to me and get excited. Like, tell me something you're really excited about. Oh, man. I got to tell you about Jason and I moving in together. <laughs> 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 and when he does it, you're like, why, why would you do that to me? <laughs> yeah. Um, it worked, though. Um, <clears throat> what's going on with the Mong cast? Is it together? Is it happening? Yeah. What happened in the last episode? What did you guys talk about? Uh, the previous episodes has yeah. the drama ended yeah we don't have drama on the podcast there's no drama no one's mad at Jason we're all friends here Farsight did you get a lot of shit for crying <laughs> yeah did you yeah <laughs> of course <laughs> Farsight cried on an episode which w- was understandable why was her at stake <laughs> it wasn't understandable at all I'm sorry it's totally understandable you in front of me on Facebook that bastard who gave you shit how many fans oh boy <laughs> Wait, who, who unfriended you? Jason. That's not why, but that was just one of the things. I feel like I got a boner. Um, you is that for like real? It? He really cried? No, I did, but it was, it was out of anger. And he's crying for my boner. frustration. Because he just kept coming back. <laughs> he's a sensitive guy. I'm a sensitive guy. Isn't that your name on the Todd Glass Sensitive. Show? <laughs> you have a nickname on every podcast. <laughs> yeah. More Stories calls me Angie. Why do they call you Angie? Because David Keckner couldn't get my name right. <laughs> so they called you Angie? He called me Angie. <laughs> and now I'm after the Rolling Stone song, Andy, Angie. So you're Angie, far side, slash, sensitive. Yeah. Any other podcast you're working on? You know, not yet. Still working on How's it. your Kickstarter program going? It's going great. <laughs> Got a Kickstarter for my uh, short film starring Todd Glass, Papa Pinata. Yeah, I'm turning this into a plug. Wait a um, minute. But Papa Pinata's already made. Yeah, but I'm getting money for the DVD so I can send it out to festivals and pay for all those fees it's expensive i'm just gonna put a kickstarter to like pay my electric you can't do that (laughs) i've tried (laughs) have you really you you can creatively do it like you can just come up with a thing and just and and make money oh yeah like there's a and there's an honor code that you're supposed to abide by but i don't believe in those yeah so you just say that you're doing something and get raised money i want to have a 10k in honor of me where the money just goes to me, where people run and raise money. Are you going to run the 10, 10, 10 k No, none of us are. We're going to raise the money because the, you don't have to. You don't have to take. There's enough people obsessed with running that they'd be like, "I know it doesn't really go towards anything, but this guy, but I just want to be in the race." I'm not going to tell them what it goes to. I'm just going to go the the Eddie Ift like memorial AIDS foundation. Yeah, the Eddie Ift AIDS memorial. It's a it's a it's a charity to get raise money. <laughs> To get rid of the bad press that says that I have AIDS, um, <laughs> it doesn't pop up number one anymore. I checked it; it's number two now. Ah, oh, fuck! Don't, why would you say that? <laughs> oh, dude, so the new one is Eddie Ift has new AIDS. <laughs> oh, that's up there now. Yeah. Uh, fuck. Um, I almost did that to someone that I was thinking about. I, like, we should do that to Mitt Romney or something. Wouldn't it be great if we could do something to get like Mitt's like, like Mitt Romney said? <laughs> like, okay, bleep that. I don't want that. Uh, no, actually bleep that because I'll fucking have this, this Secret Service like calling here. I was in high school. I had the Secret Service show up in my graphic. Did you have graphics class? No. No, I went to a real school. <laughs> <laughs> graphics class? Well, <laughs> at the Boyd Technical No wonder Institute. they showed up. Yeah. You were kidnapped and you didn't know it. <laughs> you were in Toy Soldiers and you were unaware of it. <laughs> we, 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 we had this class. I, like, I took every easy... In high school, I chose classes like guys do in college, like basket weaving. There was a graphics class where we could like... Wait, maybe I did go to a special <laughs> school. <laughs> <laughs> we can make t-shirts and uh there was a graphics lesson this one kid <laughs> made uh made a copy of a ten dollar bill a graphic a, yeah yeah and he made a plate so you could like the plate was burned so you could make like really good copies this isn't like a xerox copy this is like a really fucking good like a screen shot of it and uh our screen print of it like that you fucking like make it with the paint and everything 
And he just made it fucking around. And uh, sure enough, later that day, the fucking Secret Service walks in our school, takes him out, and just like walks him out of the school. And we're all like, holy fuck. And the the uh, teacher called the government and said, hey, this guy just... Because the teacher didn't want to get caught, like having that in his in his room or in his office or anything. So he's like, fuck it, I'm telling on the kid. So he Jesus called them and Christ. said called them and said, hey, this has gone on. I just want to let you know, blah, blah, blah. And they're like, don't do anything. We'll be right there. And wow. they showed up, and this kid got fucking walked out of our school. What a dick teacher. I Can't know. you just tell the kid to not fucking do that? That's what I thought. But uh, I actually kind of like the teacher. He was pretty cool. He, was, he had a nice, gentle finger. I like that someone follows the rules like that, that to that degree. Um, I like how he had the number for the IR. Or- Secret Service on tap. I'd fucking sell you all out to the IRS or Secret Service if I could. It's uh because that's the Treasury Department. Secret Service is uh, oh. Treasury. It's uh I always uh, that's what's my whole thing. I'm like, what the fuck is? Why are the people that protect the president here? Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, is the president coming? And they're like, no, they take care of the Treasury. <laughs> so uh, I don't know. Um, Yoshi, why don't you tell us how you killed someone? Again. <laughs> Anybody agree that was one of the weirdest episodes ever? I'm so mad I missed him. Yeah, it was awesome. It was, fun. Is it, was, it, it was pretty bad, wasn't it? He, um, Yoshi was on the last episode, but he's here now. He uh, almost killed his stepmother because she killed his father. Bad in a good way, though. Wait, are you repeating what was on the last episode? I'm telling you because you didn't <laughs> right. hear it. He, 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 um, it this just becomes every episode. We, we do that a lot. <laughs> Jim Jim describes everything that, especially in a live episode. Um, Yoshi, uh, uh, you didn't. Can you tell us the underage story? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> which one? Well, um, whichever the best one is. I I I used to work for a big adult business in San Fernando Valley. Mm-hmm. It's called Evil Angel. And um, by the way, Rory, have you ever seen his stand up? No. Phenomenal. It's not phenomenal. Yes, it is. Yeah, it's it's amazing. You're one of my favorite stand ups to watch. You're one of the few fan I mean, you've been very supportive. I'm I'm I'll say that. But it's I can't not, I can't even I can't even do Asian shows. It's though. not it's not because of your material, it's not because of your delivery, it's because of your accent. Ah. Uh, <laughs> well, what am I gonna what am I gonna do? I can't get rid of it. <laughs> no, I, I love your jokes. And uh Please tell us how you were involved in an underage girl um, trafficking scheme. Jesus. Yeah, tell us. So I used to work at a big porn company called Evil Angel. I got fired from there five months ago. But uh, uh, before I quit, I mean, before I got fired, I told one of the uh, owner, John Stelliano, a.k.a. Buttman, that... Uh, Did you get fired for not using S's at the end of words? <laughs> <laughs> I have a problem with that article. <laughs> <laughs> so, so what happened was there will be times a performer will perform and do porno with a fake ID. See, it's not our job to determine if the ID is correct. You know, right. Tracy Lord got in trouble because um, she was performing underage, and, and ultimately, porn, pornographer got away with it because she was able to make fake ID and make get a U.S. passport. And the, the pornographer's argument was, if she could fool the U.S. government, how were we supposed to know that she was, you know, under 18, right? right? So what happens, there will be performers when working... Her ch- when her cherry pops in her first scene? Yes. <laughs> when they're working underage, but they, they had a fake ID, there's no way for me to know. But a year later, when, once they turn 18, they will come back with the correct ID, well, it's the same performer with two IDs, then I, I could figure out, oh, she worked underage. Well, I told my boss at Evil Angel, like, hey, we have a problem with this ID because she's, she's underage in this one. So the right thing would have been, like, automobile company, recall, you take all the shitty cars, <laughs> you have movies with underage girls, you should take those movies out of circulation. Well, mm-hmm. what they did what they did was, they make multiple copies of the fake one, so she looked like she was 18 the whole fucking time. Oh, okay. Well, that makes me uncomfortable because I have my names as a DVD producer, Yoshio Obayashi, and uh, yeah, that makes me doesn't matter. Out. Nobody can read that name. Yes. <laughs> and what, what was so weird when they're going down the list of names of people they're going to arrest? They're like, we're never going to find this guy. He's probably he's not in Japan. We know he's not allowed there. <laughs> <laughs> he's not allowed in Canada. <laughs> yes. 
and New Zealand, Australia. Yeah. But um, another weird thing is that they, my boss used to bring his kids there, like eight, nine year old girl, while I'm editing. An eight year old girl would watch me watch porn, and you know. Sometimes I'm watching these fucking movies. I, I'm editing. I have a hard on. And there's an eight-year-old girl watching me watch porn. Like, hey, hey get the fuck out of here. You, I can't have a girl in here. I complain multiple times. They don't do shit because it's owner's wife. She could do whatever the fuck she want to do. Mm-hmm. Are you glad you're here for this, Rory? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Did you ever look at her? <laughs> so I eventually closed the door because I'm claustrophobic. But I, I can't have a kid watching me watch porn, right? So the owner's wife is... I like that you close the door because you're claustrophobic, not to keep the kid from coming. Yeah, yeah. (laughs) No, he he wasn't going to close the door because he was claustrophobic. But he shows claustrophobia over over, um, subjecting a child to Sorry, second language. Which is is right. No, no, that was my fault. You did the right thing. You didn't do the right thing by going to work for a man named Butt Man. (laughs) That's where you made the first mistake, though. So a couple months later, I complained. They never do anything. She could do the owner's wife could do whatever she wants. She'll bring her fucking kid, and uh, it makes me uncomfortable. You know, it's just I'm, I'm paranoid. So one time, I finally I close the door, minding my business, and there's a knock on the door. It's owner's wife. She goes, "Hey Yoshi, can you turn off your computer and the monitor because my daughter's here?" I'm like, "Oh my god, I'm 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 editing like Face Fucking Incorporated number eight or whatever, right?" <laughs> And she told me to cover the. Is there book. really a title called yeah, Face yeah. Fucking Joy Incorporated? Yeah, it's just Blowjob. Movie. That's a good band name. Face <laughs> Fucking Incorporated. <laughs> that's that's the actual title, right? I'm, I mean, I produce over a little over nine hundred movies last nine years. You've so. produced nine hundred films. Well, I mean, DVD wise, there's nine hundred movies with my names on them, <sighs> and I'm banned from Canada. But anyway, your so- stepmother must be so proud. <laughs> 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 and dead. So I'm going like, oh my gosh, just, uh, what, what, what? You're, you're going to bring your daughter? So she, she opened the door. She goes, hey, Yoshi, my daughter's competing in regional beauty pageant. Do you think she's looking good in this dress? She, bring, she will bring her eight-year-old daughter. I feel like room. this conversation's illegal. <laughs> so she'll bring her eight-year-old daughter at the time. She's in pink dress. And I have a hard on. Like, you want me to look at your <laughs> fucking daughter with a hard on? You know, I used to tell pedophiles are born pedophile, but even in Evil Angel, they train you to become pedophile because I don't want to look at your fucking eight-year-old daughter with hard on and a pink dress. If it stays up, she's looking good. Oh my God. Far side. I'm talking for him, not for me. And because the owner's wife bring her daughter, the supervisor, she bring her two daughters. So one time I complained to the HR person. I comp- we have HR at the porn company, right? I don't, I, want, I don't want to see kids around. The- even if it's not a porn company, I don't want kids around. Yes, I don't care yeah. if it's a rest. I don't want kids anywhere. That's awful. So her name is Gloria Small, and she's an HR <clears throat> person. And I asked, like, like, I can't have kids around. You know, I'm not doing anything wrong. I work at a porn company. It's- a porn company has an HR department. That really. I know. I think that. I, that- that's the part that disturbs uh, me the most. <laughs> I appreciate that. I feel like that's its own reality like, show do you get right be- there. Do you get benefits? I used to. <laughs> so I complained to the I'm HR the person. Business. Like, I can't have kids. It makes me uncomfortable. About six months later. Like you can't physically have children? <laughs> <laughs> so Gloria from... I hate to see them. It makes me so sad. <laughs> My sperm doesn't work. <laughs> and all I see are these children running around. And then men and women fucking and making more kids <laughs> what are you trying to do to me I'm just going to go to Japan and kill my stepmother <laughs> six months later Gloria <laughs> girl, Gloria from HR called me go to your supervisor's office she's got a surprise for you I'm thinking I have more work so I walk into the office Sarah West my supervisor her two daughters are hiding behind the door as I'm walking across the room, they both jump on me. The five-year-old grabbed my uh, right leg with her face right by my balls. Eight-year-old daughter jumps me on the uh, left-hand side. She's biting me. I have an eight-year-old daughter, eight-year-old girl saliva on my arm at the point. Ernie, I want to watch you delete this entire <laughs> conversation. <laughs> I have so many weird stories like that. Okay, I think we've... <laughs> I think this can I, can we be in agreement? This has trumped everything we've ever heard. Is that right? Oh, I, yeah. I, I have plenty of other worse stuff. Thirteen years in porn. Believe me, I I believe me. Really? Yeah. 
What's the worst thing you've ever seen? Worst? Yeah. I haven't seen it, but I can't name the director's name. But he, this director was in、um, Rio in Brazil, and he at the time his oldest son was five year old. So they got kicked out of this Brazilian hotel in Rio because he, this director and his five year old son walk into a lobby, and the five year old boy saw a four year old girl. Don't say it. I can't even go. Like I can't even hear this. Uh, so there's a four-year-old Brazilian girl. Five-year-old runs up and start dry humping her because he's seen his dad at a point all the time. That's the normal way of saying hello to someone or greeting or something like that, you know. And just、uh, that really weirded him out because you're five. You shouldn't be knowing. You should know how to try. I would hump my pillow at five. <laughs> I would. <laughs> Wait, I like how I'm the only one in the room. To, Everybody's like,、uh, I've、diffuse. seen worse. I'm still traumatized over here. Going, we're all trying to diffuse. Was the I、acronym. the only one that wasn't molested? <laughs> I, I think I probably was. I don't. I've blocked it out.、Um, how do you get into comedy? <laughs> Somebody's finger.、Um, all right, so let's talk about the Float Lab. Let's talk about something、Yay. nice. How, you you met Rory at the Float Lab? Yeah. What do you fucking hang out there? Duh! Yeah. Are you there often? <laughs> I've been hanging out there for years. Yeah, I used to go a lot more, but um, this was probably like a year ago or so. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And、Did、that's when I first when I took Crash to see Jim and you, uh, for the Australia show. And then he's like, "Oh, you got to meet my friend Rory. He's a comedian. He's very funny, and he comes and floats." So then he took me to a stand-up show at the Roosterfish at the. Gay bar on Abbot Kinney. <laughs> That's、and、my trick bar. Rory fucking killed it. He was really hilarious. You did a show with the Roosterfish. It was、yeah. fun. That's I awesome. I didn't know about it, and、um, I went and did it, and it was so much fun. I think that was it, though. I think it's done. Yeah, it was, it was, it was、so、like the last、it. night they ever did stand up comedy. So funny how you can kill in a gay bar, but then you go into a lesbian bar, and it's so, <laughs> such an uphill battle. I've done <laughs> shows at lesbian bars、yeah. in New York, like Henrietta Hudson's. It's so hard to do <laughs> well because they're just looking at you like I fucking hate you. <laughs>、um, but yeah, sorry. Wait, I want to know. So you is, did Joe Rogan send you to the Float Lab?、Uh, no, my buddy Greg Barris,、uh, another comic out of New York City. He goes there all the time when he's in town, and、uh, I went with him one time and really like crashed、it? and got hooked. Yeah, I love it. I think it's great. I don't go as often as I should. Do you get high before you go in? No, I get to、uh, I get to hyper when I get high. I would love to try to do mushrooms and go in, but I get I don't know that that kind of Joe, scares Joe, me. Joe told me to try. I went in his house and he was showing me the whole thing, and I'm I'm way too claustrophobic. I would、mm-hmm. fucking lose it in there. It's all you know, I kind of thought that, but once you're in there, you are able because you can't see the space exactly, and also because you aren't necessarily touching the sides. And because the top is seven feet above you, but you also can get out when you want, correct? Yeah, like, and also the、open. door being on the side. Like I, I was well, worried. Does the door close? Yeah. yeah. See, I don't like that. Well, you have to be in this、uh, black space because I won't even get in a portage on because it's got a latch on the outside, and I've done it to a million friends where I've stuck like a stick through while they're in a portage on, and then just left them in there for hours. And I know my karma. I'd get fucking. And if you locked me in a float lab, I'd fucking、Eddie. lose it. You were molested. <laughs> oh, really? I was. <laughs> I think you were molested. You're fucking scared of like locked doors. Um, <laughs> like, what the fuck is your problem? <laughs> That's hysterical. <laughs> like, I'm afraid of. I won't go、still. into a porta potty. <laughs> I、uh, because a, a, I was molested. A, bu- <laughs> a buddy of mine has a thing called a CVAC, and it's this thing that you get in and it changes your altitude really quickly, and it's it's different from a hyperbaric chamber. It's It makes your it'll shoot to twenty two thousand feet, then back down to six, then up to twenty two within seconds. Like、Jesus. a rocket can't even do that. Go fucking back up and down like that. It's it it happens so quickly that it makes it makes a lot of red red blood cells come into your system like quicker and replenish. It's like using the drug EPO. So anyway, so I go to his house. And he's like, get in it. I'm like, fuck off. Because、mm-hmm. you're in it, he hands you a walkie-talkie that you have to、oh, talk to him from, that's and that's like, and he's like, "There's the kill switch," and I'm like, "Does it always?" And he's like, "Ah, it's a little broken. You're gonna have to nudge it if <laughs> it." And I'm like, "Fuck!" It looks like the egg and mork from ork that he、yeah. got in, and I'm like, "There's no fucking way I'm sitting in this egg." And he goes, "Just do it." I go, "Give." There's a glass top though. I go, "Give me a hammer, and I'll sit in it." Because that way I can break my way out if you lock me in. All all you have to do, Rory, you could back me up on this, is just open the door when you're in the in the chamber. Yeah. But what if you have dick、Occam's、friends? Occam's razor. What if you have dick <laughs>、yeah. friends like me that lock you in? It, it, they are they're not allowed fifty feet 
This is run but by adults. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> this is in like middle schoolers. People. Jason's not here to confirm that if he went in there, I'd find a way to lock him in there. <laughs> there's a video on there's a video on YouTube right now of Jason went in a closet and I shoved like dresser drawers up against it and wouldn't yeah. let him out for like hours. <laughs> Well, then maybe you shouldn't be allowed in the pull up. But, I know. But if without Jason, that is. But it is, like, it's, it is amazing. And I'm so happy Rory is here so he could talk about it. What's amazing male, about it? What happens? The, the whole being able to be in an environment where you it, does it can turn relax. You, does it turn you into a cock tease? Apparently it has. <laughs> I've been doing it for a long time. Yeah. But um, it, he pumps ozone into it. So you're breathing straight up ozone. Which is Why can't we pump amazing. that into the environment? Because they keep burning it, apparently. They keep burning it, and it's too <laughs> valuable of a resource, I guess. But anyway, but Rory, do you want to talk about it from your perspective? Because I've talked about it enough. From uh, mine, it's fantastic. You relax, and you, uh, you really... Um, I, I don't know how to describe it. It's like just relaxing meditation. You know what else is relaxing? A little Asian woman that massages you, and then right at the end. <laughs> that's, uh, that's just as good, I'll bet. <laughs> Maybe even better. And it's not cheating. Wow. Right? That's not cheating. <laughs> Brian McCarthy told me today. Oh, God. Yeah. <laughs> I love that the mixture we're getting is I will get locked inside there. I like hand jobs. <laughs> <laughs> That's the le- We're both like, well, if you go in there, you can get to this nice, cool level of depth meditation. And you're like, you know, I like blow jumps <laughs> yeah. and doors that can't close. Eddie <laughs> doesn't want to get in touch with himself. He wants other people to touch him. Exactly. I will, I will get in the float lab with a small Asian woman. <laughs> <laughs> I will float and get a hand job. Um, that's the only way I'm doing it. Uh, where did Yoshi go after he... Bathroom. Uh, Nobody else weirded out? Nobody? No? Just me? Everybody thinks it's completely normal? Uh, it's porn. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There's no rules. All right. Let's end this one. Uh, you've been a fucking sport for staying this long, Rory. We usually hold people Thank you for coming, hostage. Rory. Thank um, you for having me. Thanks to all the Mongs. And listen to the Mongcast if you get a chance. Uh, go to the Mongcast on iTunes. Go to the Brian McCarthy interview show. You can listen to the Wadcast if you like CrossFit. And uh, Farside, where's your Kickstarter program? Where can they find if you it? you go on Kickstarter.com, yep. uh, just search Papa Pinata and it'll come up Papa Pinata Festival. Papa on. Pinata. Papa Pinata. Am I going to be in your next film? Don't mm-hmm. I have a part? Sure. Well, no, you told me I was going to be in it. Well, let's write something. Oh, I do have something I want to write right now. Um, all right. Uh, Yoshi, thank you for being on the show again. I uh, appreciate it. Thanks, so you'll be on like one episode, then there'll be a break, then you're on another episode. Jesse, good luck with the broken dollars. Um, mute, whatever. Rory, anything yes. you want to plug other than you're going to be at the Edinburgh Festival? Yep. You're going to be where? The Underbelly? Uh, the Abbey Ro- or the Assembly Roxy? Oh, the downstairs. Assembly Rooms. You're at the yeah. Assembly Rooms. Go see Rory Scoville. A lot of our British fans listen, and a lot of Scottish fans. Uh, take a chance. Like uh, you could see all the big names that you know, but it's better because you'll see one of the top American comics coming over. Come see him. Uh, I swear to God, you'll have a fucking great time. I've seen them live, hysterical. Uh, and uh, and then send us a message and go, thanks, thanks for fucking <laughs> doing that for me. And then I'll say, you owe me. Um, everybody else, just check out JiminettiTalkShit.com. And uh, thank you. Good night. <laughs>